So let's talk about feeling bloated. Now, maybe you've been off of a healthy eating game or it's bloating from your period or some other health condition. There's no doubt it feels awful to feel bloated. It's like you can't do anything. So what I wanna do with you in this video is share the tips that helped me reduce my bloating um, on a consistent level. Cause I can say like, now I don't feel bloated very often unless I get off of my healthy eating game. And also at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you some quick fix, how to de-bloat tips if like you're super bloated and you just came on YouTube and you're like, I need to do something right now. I have those for you as well. So I feel like it would be a miss if I didn't say this because if you watch my channel, you know I try to be as honest with you guys as possible. But if you've got one foot on this side of the fence of unhealthy eating and this foot on the other side of the fence of healthy eating, most likely you're gonna feel bloated. So you have to make a decision and you have to know why you want to go down that healthy route and you have to stick to it because the bloating comes from the back and the forth. Eating well throughout the week and then blowing it on the weekends. This will keep you bloated and it will keep you unhealthy and it will keep you with excess weight and all the things that you actually don't want. If you're eating fake processed foods, these can really wreak havoc on your digestive system, um, just on a daily basis, but also long-term and can lead to a lot of problems in your digestion that are going to result with symptoms like bloating. So please don't take these tips as a band-aid. Use them as tools to get you from point A to point B, heading towards a healthier trajectory. Um, but don't use them as a band-aid for self-abuse through food. <laughs> and the last thing I wanna share with you before we get into the tips is that Leaner in 10, my 10 day weight loss challenge is coming up. We start on April 12th. If you're interested, honestly, I'm just being honest here, the tips will really help you with bloating if that is something that you're suffering from. Doing this challenge can be a really great first step to get some structure, some tips and tools on how to get beyond bloating and how to lose weight on a whole food plant-based diet. So if you're interested, check out the description for the link and I'd love to do the challenge with you. So my first tip is to mindfully eat and mindfully chew. Now I could show you a bunch of B-roll of me chewing food, but I'm not gonna do that. So the things that I wanna share with you in this tip are, you know, really being conscious of when you sit down to eat. If you're in a rush or you're feeling anxious, that is not the time to shovel in a meal. Digestion begins in our mouth, and so you want to make sure that you thoroughly chew your food and swallow it before you take the next bite. I know probably you've heard this before, but it really makes a big difference in bloating. So definitely eat in a calm environment, be focused on your food, think about where it came from, the people who grew it, be thankful that you have money to buy food, enjoy your meal, enjoy the moment, and chew slowly. This can make a big difference um, between like gulping down a bunch of air and undigested food. If you feel like chewing thoroughly is difficult for you, if you're eating like a big salad, for example, you can always put this in like the food processor and just crank, crank, like two pulses and chop things really small, or you can grab one of those really good chopping salad choppers and chop your salad super small, and that can also help because it mimics, think about like a high-speed blender, it mimics the, the kind of breakdown of the food to help you digest quicker. So that's a tiny tip with that first tip that you can incorporate. My second tip is to eat real, fresh, ripe fruits and vegetables and plant foods. Now, if this is new to you, eating these kinds of things may feel like they give you more bloating and gastric distress. So I would encourage you to start small. So if beans or legumes or whole intact grains are making you feel super bloated, just introduce them a little bit at a time. When it comes to things like fruits and vegetables, you wanna make sure that you're eating them in the ripe form. Because if you eat them unripe, like an unripe pineapple, for example, it can mess with your mouth, but it can also really mess with your tummy. So make sure your fruits and vegetables are ripe and go slow with things like adding a lot of raw veggies in or beans. Because if you add too much fiber to your diet too soon without the amount of water to help it move through your system, you're gonna uh, run into constipation and bloating and gas. Okay, so a follow-up from the last tip is to drink plenty of water and also lemon water is a fantastic thing to have 
each morning. You can do this like warm, you can squeeze half a lemon in there. About 32 ounces of water in the morning is going to really help de-bloat and de-puff. So if you overdid it last night or you've had too much alcohol or junk food, actually water can be really helpful and can help you de-bloat overnight. So although it may sound like it's counterproductive to drink more water when you're already bloated, this is going to help reduce puffiness and it's also going to help flush toxins. So getting in enough water every day um, is very important and you can do that by having some early in the morning, have some between your breakfast and lunch, have some between lunch and dinner, and then you won't be peeing all night long. But it will really make a big difference in your bloating and hydration. Next, you wanna pay attention to how you're combining your meals. So things that digest really quickly are fruits and vegetables. So if you're having really slow digesting food first and then you're putting fruits and vegetables after that, that can cause some gastric distress. If you're eating something like a melon, you wanna make sure that it's ripe, of course, but melons are best eaten alone because they digest so quickly. Other fruits you can have with some leafy greens and that can help digestion. And then beyond that, just experiment for yourself with simple food choices in your meals and see what works for you. This is one of those really great things to food journal about and see, oh, I can eat this combo of whole plant foods together and I feel great and I have a flat tummy, but when I eat this and this together, it bloats me. So something to be aware of is food combining. If you have low stomach acid, you can use raw unfiltered organic apple cider vinegar, about a tablespoon with a little bit of water, however much you need so that you don't feel like you're gonna gag, <laughs> about 20 minutes before each meal. Now this is not something you need to do forever because I know everybody has their opinion on vinegar, but it is something that you can do in the meantime while you allow your um, digestive system to heal. Doing this can really be helpful for that in-between time while you're getting healthier. And so I, I definitely would do this. I've done this myself. So moving into some more practical, actual foods that you can eat when you're feeling bloated, you wanna eat potassium rich foods. So things like sweet potatoes or avocados or bananas plus water are going to flush salt out of your system. You can also focus on foods that are naturally diuretic type of foods. So things like dandelion greens, these are fantastic for the liver, any kind of bitter herb, you can juice this, which we'll, I'll be going into soon. Things like parsley and celery is fantastic as a diuretic. Other things could be uh, melons or cucumbers. These are very water rich and will help um, just naturally reduce the bloat. So all of these are really powerhouse natural diuretics full of potassium and water and they're an excellent method to just kind of lose excess water weight. If you can't absorb or digest nutrients very well, then something that I would suggest that can be really helpful is juicing and doing like a green juice. So you can use things like celery. This is a fantastic source of natural sodium. Oftentimes when you're puffy, it's a sign that you're actually lacking natural sodium. So I'm sure you've heard about the craze where people were drinking celery juice all the time. That can absolutely help. But any kind of green juice that you put together, you can put all of these things in a green juice. It can be really helpful to absorb nutrients and also help your digestion if you have a very weak digestive system. So adding things like a citrus to your green juice, this would be a non-sugary option, a lemon, a lime, maybe an orange or two, can really help uptake the greens and the nutrients in the green juice. And if you don't do juice on a daily basis, I highly recommend you try it. You're gonna get a flood of nutrients in your body without the added fiber or anything that might mess you up. So I think it's a really great habit to incorporate on a daily basis to de-bloat, but also just get healthy from the inside out. Another thing you can start to do is implement tea after your meals. So give it a little bit of time, maybe like, 20 to 45 minutes after you eat, but then you can have a nice herbal tea. Um, teas that are great with digestion are peppermint tea, you can do fennel seed. You can also just chop some fresh ginger root and put that in some nice boiling water. So having this tea after dinner is, you can also just use this as a time to relax and focus on breathing and that can be helpful. Um, with your digestion as well. Another way to reduce bloating is to just really be mindful of how much salt you're taking in. If you're eating a lot of processed foods, those will naturally have a lot more salt than a natural food. Um, so being mindful of reducing those in your diet. So we need sodium in our diet. It's essential for a lot of functions, but if you have too much salt in your diet, it's going to 
bring fluid retention in. And not only does this make you appear to have gained more weight, feel more bloated, but it actually can be very taxing to the kidneys. And so reducing this, you'll see a big difference in puffiness in your face. Um, if you have a, a ring that's too tight, you can see a big difference in that. Another thing that you can do just on a practical level is just not salt your food while you're cooking it and then just salt it at the table. That will really easily help you reduce the amount of salt that you're using on a daily basis. Consider taking magnesium. Magnesium can be really helpful if the source of your bloating is coming from feeling really constipated. Again, this is not something you have to do forever, but as you transition to a healthier diet and get more regular with your system, magnesium is a great alternative to having like an over-the-counter laxative to help you poop. If you take it the night before, most likely you'll have a really normal, regular bowel movement because of the magnesium by the morning time. Next, watch out for food intolerances. So if you're switching over to eating healthfully and onion and garlic bloat you, for example, consider moving to like a garlic powder or an onion powder until you can better tolerate these foods. Another thing that goes hand in hand with this is food journaling writing down what seems to bloat you and what does not, and being able to take those out of your diet for a little bit of time and reintroduce them so that you can really pinpoint the food intolerances that you have and stay away from things that do cause bloating. If you're eating too late at night, this can cause gas and it can cause bloating. So eat an early dinner and give yourself at least three to four hours before bedtime to digest that food. This will help you sleep better, but it will also help with waking up with a nice flat tummy. So those are all tips and tools that you can start to incorporate. But now if you're super bloated and you hopped on YouTube and you're like, I gotta do something right now, I'm gonna show you some fast acting, quick de bloat tips. A quick fix when you're feeling really bloated or constipated is just doing a water enema. Now I've talked about this before, but it can be very, very helpful in the moment and just get over that bloating and that constipation. If your face is looking really puffy, like if I am, am bloated or puffy, I see it in my eyes. A great thing to do is do either like some gua sha, um, just a little bit of, of oil and the gua sha, you can really smooth out any puffiness. If you don't have this, it's really not an issue at all. You can do the same thing with your hands, um, just tapping lightly around your eyes. Right here is a place of lymphatic drainage, so if you were to really massage while there and then let it drain down your neck, that's another thing you can do. This will help with lymphatic drainage. It will help your face appear more sculpted and really something that you can do on a daily basis, but in an emergency situation as well. And then my last quick fix tip is just movement and or rest. You know your body, you know what you're feeling. Sometimes you just need to lay down and allow yourself to rest. Other times movement might be what you need. Walking can really be helpful to de-bloat. It has that lymphatic pressure um, and lymphatic draining system to it because you are moving like this. You can also do rebounding. Anything gentle like Pilates or yoga will also work. And even foam rolling. Doing a foam rolling session on your whole body can really help de-puff and de-bloat. Gentle movement and just, you know, listen to your body. But as you move and as you do different stretches, it can be so very helpful to release gas, but also to help you be less bloated. So put these tips into practice if you've been dealing with bloating and you're really feeling uncomfortable. The most uncomfortable thing, like I said at the beginning, is sitting on the fence. That hurts your butt, right? So get both feet on the side of the fence of health and you're gonna be on a greater trajectory. You can heal from things like bloating and you can be different. You just have to commit to doing things differently to see the results that you want. You can keep on making excuses or you can make it happen. Check out the description down below if you want to join Leaner and 10. We begin on April 12th, which is right around the corner. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.